Howdy folks, Rock the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG Feed the Beast Skies server, and I look like I dressed myself in the morning as a four-year-old, because <laughs> I've got all these artifacts on. Uh, I've got a hat, a necklace, an obsidian skull, I've got uh, the magnet, I've got these claws, and I've got both bunny and cat slippers on, because I'm amazing. Uh, yeah, I really do look like I've just been thrown together in the morning. The magnet I have been loving. It has been great. Uh, I think I'm going to turn off all of these because I don't need to see them all. But <laughs> I figured I'd show that. Uh, death number two over there. I was AFK up on top of my storage drawers. And uh, evidently, mimics can climb up uh, ladders. So what I've got over here... No fall damage. I love my slippers. Uh, I've got two of these ladders over here and I can jump up to climb up. And so far I've been fine. I've not had any get at me and maybe because it was on the other side. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to do over here, I've been processing and processing lots of, of the the sand into dust. Uh, just dumped a bunch of more cobble to make gravel. Anyway, I've been shoving the, the dust into here to sit there and make me lots of this. Uh, because I, I want lots of glowstone, I want lots of redstone and all that goodness. Uh, I also went ahead and made some shears and sheared off some oak leaves and ran them through. And that got me up here. Uh, from Hexerai, uh, two of these uh, saplings, the Witch Hazel and the Willow, um, and then some of these uh, bits here. The Mahogany Sapling I got from a quest to turn in for getting these saplings, and that's the Mahogany. Okay, so let's look at these. The Witch Hazel here, I, I do like the, the way it spreads out and, and hangs down. Ah, I like that whistle. Uh, uh, that's not Witch Hazel. This is the Willow. I do like how it, it hangs down. Uh, that's just cool. Uh, I kind of like this as a grayish log not so happy that the stripped one got this yellowy cast to it eh, don't really like it uh these are pretty nice these are polished and there's just a slight yellowy tinge on these huh okay uh, interesting uh this here is the witch hazel and it's got a little bit too much yellow in the, the log for me to be happy. Although I do kind of like the, the leaves. They're, they're very bright and they stand out. And yeah, I'm not all that pleased as far as a building material for the stripped. Although these look really good. The, the polished, again, just a little bit lighter. It's not much of a difference, but it's there just a little bit. Uh, the mahogany, though, I like that's a nice warm chocolatey sort of feel. A little bit of a red in it. And that stripped. That looks really nice. I like that. And then here are the, the, the log plank stuff in here. These are the regular and these are the polished. And again, this is a little bit lighter. This is a little bit darker. I like that a lot. So um, Torgal was mentioning in his video that this is a great one for just wood. If, if that's what you're looking for for materials. Because you get 20 to 50 logs each time. And I agree with him. That's a great one. And, and the, the colors are great. Uh, Dark Oak does me pretty much the same. And uh, if, if I didn't have Vein Miner, I wouldn't want to grow these. I'd rather grow those because almost always you can get them from the ground or you go up one block and then you can reach the really tall ones. So Dark Oak is still my favorite. But that that's just a nice, rich, chocolatey yum. I, I like that, that color. And it's turning dark. Anyway, one of the things that I wanted to do... Yeah, let's hop up here. Uh, this is five blocks up, and I think this is going to be where my my base level is going to, to, to end up being. Because that gives me... Okay, let me jump down again. Uh, because that gives me enough room down here to put stuff, four blocks worth of stuff underneath. And that, that really works. Uh, and I do like my, my bunny slippers because they give me extra height for jump is so nice i like it all right so one of the things i wanted to do is grab one of these pasture seeds i got from sifting earlier and plop that in there and this will give me actual grass grass instead of the the botan botania grass and uh the reason why i want that let's go ahead and grab just some regular bone meal and my shears because if i try to bone meal here it actually spread grass I've not, okay, I hadn't seen that, but if I bone meal here, I get some of these these uh, grasses. I'm gonna go ahead and shear those and do several of these because this is how I can, oh, I got uh, some seeds. 
the uh, demon's dream seed from occultism I, I will need some of those to get into that let's do a few more of these <laughs> talking and doing okay all uh, two and a half stacks almost uh the if i u for this and i go to milling uh that will get me seeds i want to do at least one seed so i can get some wheat from that but sifting uh that's a string mesh and a site mesh so this will give me a bunch of these flowers which will be very handy i do want to upgrade to get some of these other stuff because if i want to get into hexerai i need that uh and see the that's the amethyst that's the top tier doesn't look like there's anything new really in here just probably better uh, chances uh what i do want to do is come into here and grab this because i want to get into botania fast oh, darn it i don't have a bigger crafting grid so let's do this and this is shapeless so when you've got any four die and that's why i've been growing beets uh uh, with bone meal you get floral fertilizer and i don't know if you can do this on this type of grass let's see it does work cool i thought i would have to use it up there but it uh, looks like it works down here this will give me the botania flowers we <laughs> let's spam it all down all right uh so this is giving me some of these oh that's all these flowers uh i need to make more obviously because uh i've got one other let's go back up actually i can access it from down here i've got one other mystical white that's sufficient i've got a brown i've got some reds i'm trying to remember what i need okay let's take a look i need the endo flame and for that it's brown, red, and oh, light gray. Okay. So uh, do I, there's the regular gray. I have no light gray. So I definitely have to uh, go ahead and produce more of uh, these uh, flowers, which is okay. Uh, and if I go into my questies and take a look at, oh, yeah, here's, um, oh, there's my flower pouch, fortune cookie. Cool. It's, I've gotten some of these. Yay. More floral fertilizer and a obedient stick. So next thing I need to do is make me a petal apothecary uh, because one of the reasons why jumping into it this early means let's grab my flower pouch means I can get access to something like uh, the Botania magnet. And while I have been enjoying the magnet I've got, the Botania magnet, the benefit of that is if I crouch, it doesn't work. So that's something I can I can use or various oh, there's some light to light gray and i need you Ooh. all went into here cool so browns reds uh light gray cool i can make that yay all right uh so that that gives me access to a, a better magnet and some other uh, cool tools plus i can make the mana steel which means i can upgrade these meshes uh, and I only have the one mesh at this point. I could be doing so much more, but I've just been very lazy. And I've not cared because I've just AFK'd over there a whole bunch. So let's go ahead and sleep real quick because I like the, the better light. All right, so one of the things... Uh, let's go run at this guy real quick. Excuse me. Uh, he's got a, an elytra trade for three emeralds. And I picked up one from a different wandering trader. Thank you. Well, not you, but your friend, Frank. Um, and I was sitting there looking at that and going, wow, an elytra for, for three emeralds? Okay, let's try that. Uh, smelted some ingots here. What have I tossed around here? Oh, I made the willow woodcutter because I had some of those woods over there and it requires one of these three woods uh, to, to make that. Uh, that way I can sit there and, and chop up stone and I can chop up wood. Uh, both are very cool. Uh, I haven't shown off. I had this villager earlier and I got this villager now recently. His, he's got a little, uh, he's a little hot headed there. <laughs> uh, so I'll be doing something with them later. They just randomly spawn in occasionally. Uh, the thing I wanted to do, and I'm trying to remember where I put the bits. Uh, I think I put them in, in here. Let me go ahead and grab these. Uh, before I do that, I've got 17 levels on me. And I could do 
let's see that's bone mealer that's 14 levels and i've got that that should mean things grow better around me that's my guess and then this one here is strength 11 levels I, I'm thinking this would allow me to do more damage as I'm beating up on the, the mimics. As they, I think I'm going to do this one, the bone mealer for right now. So let's go ahead and you right click. I don't see. Ah, okay. I clicked that little spot and that gave me a little arrow here and click. Okay. Uh, did that do anything? <laughs> Because if I right-click this guy, okay, it does show that I've got Bone Mealer on me. Uh, I just don't know if it's actually doing anything. Uh, nothing's real. Everything's grown over here. So let's... Uh, do I see any particle sort of effects on me? Oh. Yeah, this is definitely growing faster. All right, so that's a great thing. Yes, so... Um, I, like I said, uh, beets. Am I going to eat the beets? No, I'm not going to eat the beets, but I will uh, turn them into uh, red dye and uh, th and this the, the seeds I will turn into uh, bone meal and then I can make more flowers. Yay. Oh, tomatoes, cabbage. I think that's it. There's not much by way of food crops in here. Uh, let's eat this. And I need to get, I think, another 11 levels, and then I can do uh, the, the next one. Do I need the totem on me? It looks like it's just permanently on me. I don't know if I need that on me. I'll, I'll play with it later, because what I want to do, excuse me, Frank, is I want, hey, you walked right into me. <laughs> I want to sit there and play with walls. I want to get an idea as to what to do. Now, three chunks, that's 16 wide each chunk, so that's 48 wide, and I really prefer odds, but this is going to turn out even. Oh, well. But uh, the that means that I've got three 16s, but that also means I've got six eight block wide wall pieces, and so that's what I'm kind of looking at doing for right now. Uh, let's leave you on here and let's grab you. Okay, so the thing I was thinking is using dark oak logs. So here's this and we'll go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoops, that's eight. I don't want eight. I want seven high. That way I'll have a lip around my five tall uh, piece. And then if I, I did stone brick here because I can break it and it won't turn into cobble if it's just regular smooth stone uh let's go ahead and build this up one two five six seven so there's my eight block wide uh let's try this one two three five six seven i don't want seven tall let's go with six that way we have a little bit of a, a difference here one more yeah, we got a little bit of a difference, and that's why I've got it in a block and down a block, just so it gives it some depth. Now, these are very basic blocks. Um, see, if this were a single, or if this were an odd number, I could have a single or like three windows, or yeah, this the two is okay. Mm, it kind of makes me feel weird. Uh, let's just put something else in here for texture. We got the... Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if I will use my oak trapdoors that I like to use. Uh, they make for great windows, but it means I can look inside, and I don't necessarily want to look inside for something like this. So possibly the dark oak trapdoors. Those would look really good. Um, okay, uh, now, because this is going to repeat, that means the next one over here is going to start with a log segment like this. So, and that, that's okay, but that means this end piece is going to just be all by itself. So what if I did this as a corner piece to go around, oops, to go around the corner... Yeah, I think that would work. So assuming that that spot right there would be right here. Yeah, let's 
take a look. I I kind of like that. Yeah, because we've got two and then six, and then two. Proportion wise, that that looks good. And then this is a little section of three and a repeated section of three. Okay, yeah, that that works for me. I okay. Let's play with stripped. I like that. I like that better. That may be something I use mahogany instead of the dark oak, just because I kind of like the the color on that. I'll have to play with you know with it side by side and see which I like better. Uh, I'm not sure I like the the lines here. What if? And since I had some oak here, uh, let's strip you. See that gives me a seamless texture. I'm I'm not sure about that. Uh, let's chop you down. Let's run over here. The the last pack I was so fast that I feel like I'm I've got ankle weights or something on right now. Let's toss you into here. Let's do stone brick walls. Run. Not sure what to do on the inside here, but uh well, we'll see. Uh, if I put walls here, they're the same stone brick, but you get a different texture with that. I kind of like that. I, I kind of do. Uh, the, this is very boring and bland because the, it's just all the same. However, I wonder if... Yeah, I'm way up high. Okay, let's grab you guys down here. And I want those up there. Oh, I'm too far away. I can fix that. See, this is where I, I like doing this in creative mode in a single player world, because then I could just use any blocks I've got and access is real easy. <laughs> now I have to run over here. Uh, let's break these. So there's 10 of these. And let's run over here again. I might as well bring the stone cutter over with me excuse me all right now hopefully i won't be running back and forth as much but you know who knows uh, this is just how my brain kind of works when i'm making this stuff let's get you out of the way put you down uh, and then there were 10 of these let's make stairs and if i put stairs here Oh, but that, uh, you can see, what if we angle the stairs like that? Okay. Now, now we don't see, and that provides some different texture. Ding. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, let's try this. I need to put ladders over here so I'm not jumping up like this. So over here I want upside down stairs. And let's do again because the way it this is working. I want to stand on top of you. Oh I did six. These are not ten. These are six. Yes I can I at math I can very yes and now i've got to get up there again <laughs> uh yes i am prepared i am definitely prepared so let's go like that and again we need a block to do this again so we'll go like this and i'm down again the you know i I'm not sure I like that. I, I'm not sure I do. Um, yeah, I'm not that big of a fan with that. Let's, what I do like doing occasionally is putting some stairs in the middle here. So let's make some more stairs. Because that gives me some depth of work. Oh, but the walls don't connect to stairs. Mm. Okay, um, I'm, I'm thinking trapdoors instead of walls, but but you can see how there's some depth in here. 
and the light is fading away. I'm not sure about stairs on the top, but I, I definitely kind of like having the, the stairs here. Ooh, hey, what if I took these stairs and I need another block here and I did them upside down like this. And I need another block over here. So that gives some something down below and then I could put something like cobble underneath that for yet another texture that I'm kind of liking. I, I do kind of like that. I like that better than, you know, I kind of like these being upside down and these being upside down. I, they reflect each other. Can't really do the stairs here like this with those. All right. I've got some ideas to play with and uh, I'm going to have to um, see if I can come up with a final structure for this. Well, I think I've got kind of a working wall, although I think I'm going to change a few things like these trap doors while they're nice. Uh, let's grab some more of these signs. Uh, I'm I'm not to uh, I'm not really wowed with them here. Uh, instead, I'm going to put these uh, polished uh things everything that's not okay stripped that's the the regular wood everything else that we got here is polished and i i like that slight difference uh it, it definitely works uh went ahead and and put a little bit of cobble down here that kind of gives me some ground to it uh did some variation there's a stone stair there's a stone stair up there uh, we've got some cracked blocks uh, got some lights in here. Here we've got uh, some chiseled stone. We've got stairs going in and out to provide a little bit of texture. We've got a little bit of an airspace through there. You could think of them as, you know, machiculations for, you know, shooting down on invaders coming up. And uh, I do like having these trapdoors on top. I think that that really works. Uh, the I'm not quite sure about the 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 top. It, it looks like it just kind of ends. <laughs> I, I don't know a better word than that, uh, but this works. I think this needs to be all stripped and uh, let's get my uh, new axe. So you strip there and strip the rest of it. I like the look of that. I it's the that chocolatey cherry sort of. Well, it's too dark to be cherry, but this is nice looking. Uh, that that mahogany is is a very nice uh, look to it. Um, yeah, I, it's it's all the the same reddish sort of because we've got this difference here. Yep. Uh, okay, so here I I do like these trapdoors. I I like them a lot. The problem is I can see in, and uh, th there's a problem here. <laughs> there's the water wheel, and I might move that, but I'd rather not be able to look in. So let's go ahead and strip those out. Uh, let's get back my dark oak ones. It's I I would like if if I had a non-transparent mahogany here and I didn't see any. Uh, there is the option. Let's grab these stone vertical guys. And uh, this is an option here where we have this stone. Uh, it's too much the same. It's that that's too much the same. So no, we're going to go with the or the oak, not the orc. OK, uh, that 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 works. It's a blend of different textures. It's a blend of of different colors. But we're using the same limited palette of wooden stone, all the same type of wood, except for the dark oak. Ignore that. Uh, but all the same sort of wood in different formats. Uh, and and it is also spider proof, which is the reason why I add stuff like these. These uh, pieces here, we got the trap doors on top uh, and we also have the the fence post below. This breaks up with gates and yeah, I, I I like how that looks from there. The thing I'm not 100% sure is whether I want to do something around. Probably not. Probably not. Now let's go up. And I still don't have a good solution for getting up here. And um, I'm this this works, you know, if I've got a bow, I can sit there and shoot anything coming down. Uh, that's that definitely will work. 
And, uh, you know, it, because spiders are such a pain, having something here that stops them from coming up is an excellent thing. Uh, you need some sort of overhang uh, to stop them. I, I wonder if these would look better with more fence posts going up. And, and this is where it hurts me that I, I'm doing everything in evens and I, I much prefer to do odds because then I could have a central pillar. You know, if I had three, I could have a central one going up and I can't <laughs> and it hurts. I wonder if I could put these here and kind of works, but it makes me think that let's move these stuff out of the way. I need my logs. All right. I think what this needs is to uh, break these. Go ahead and go up a little bit more. And then I need to uh, flank these. All right. Let's see how that looks. OK, that's that's better. That little bit more height. Uh, yes, I like that. Much. OK, there we go. That's what we're going to do. It, it's higher than I expected the, the top part of the walls to be, but that's OK. You know, it, what I envision versus what actually looks good can always be different. I'm not wedded to my ideas 100%. All right. So from the inside, you know, there'll be this border and yeah, I, I will need to get rid of these little oak planks that I use for temporary spot. And they'll just be this sort of wood, the stone, not wood, the stone piece going all the way around. Yeah, yeah, that that works as an interior piece. I might do some decorations like I did with the other side. Oh, I still got some of these trap doors. Uh, what if I did like a little bit of this to just break things up a little bit? Possibly uh, buttons. I've got buttons. What if we put those blend in <laughs> those really blend in uh, maybe some other type of buttons, maybe a light or a stone sort of button. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. Uh, I need some lights on the inside. Oh, what if I. I wish I had something nice that wasn't a torch, but, uh, you know, that's a possibility for the very tip top. Yeah, let's see how that looks from the other side. We, uh, yeah, yeah, that works. I I prefer non torches, but that's a decoration as opposed to a lighting feature. Yeah, I okay. There's my wall. I I have uh, figured out a wall piece, and I just need to duplicate that all the way around and make lots more dirt. <laughs> that's gonna be a lot of dirt. All right. So uh, that's the, the, the plan. And uh, unfortunately, I haven't really done much. So decoration aside, let's get Man of Steel. Do you remember how I said I would skip the decoration and, and go do Botania? Well, yeah, so we're going to do Botania, but uh, I, I have done some decorating here. Uh, this wall is done. This is the inside. There's a lot of dirt up there that's turning into grass. And um, yeah, there's lots and lots of uh, pillars up to define the, the, the border. Yeah, and and uh, you can see on the little mini map here, actually, it's so many pigs. I have killed so many pigs because they spawn up here like crazy. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what they do. All right, so this is my Botania in one chunk. Well, with, with a variation because, you know, it's not hard and firm and fast. Uh, what I basically do is I figure out where I'm going to put the, the Alfheim uh, gateway. And so I've got that right here. And you know, I just would to, to, to make it. Uh, then right here's where eventually my Terra Steel production, uh, the three by three is going to be. And with that defined, then you go kitty corner a block. And then there's a, well, let's go over here. There's a three by three area. Although you can't see it because this is uh, the enchanting area, but you can see there's the three by three you go block. Here's a three by three. This is where, what's going to be my uh, mana storage down there. And then over here, three by three, this is where I'm going to make my flowers and, and this will be generating the mana. Uh, and I'm leaving it to the grass so that I can actually plant flowers here because you can't put flowers on top of a cobblestone. It, it tends not to work so well. Anyway, uh, so what? Well, let's go ahead and grab some things and I'm going to grab these. Let's break these into flowers. 
or petals actually. And I want to make the petal apothecary. That's the, the first thing here. And uh, let's go ahead and use one of these. And there's my petal apothecary. I'm going to put that, uh, there's a two by two water source right here. I'm going to put it right there. Darn it. It's not sucking. One of the packs actually, if you put it next to a continuous source like this, it would fill it. That was so handy. I loved it. But I'll go ahead and just uh, put that in there. And then that one, because of the, it, it is a continual source. And so I can use that there. Anyway, that uh, that works. Uh, the next thing I want to do is grab these guys. No, not the beetroot, but these. And uh, with this, I can sit there and throw those in plus the, the flower. And that gives me the pure daisy. And I'm going to stick that right there. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, I need some logs first, so I'm going to put these around to convert into living wood. And so made the pure daisy, made the petal apothecary, I need to make these, and then I can make the wand. And I've got some leftover petals. I'm going to use uh, yellow and uh, purple to, you know, channel my inner mango. So that's what I, I and unfortunately, this part of making the the living rock and living wood just takes time there's there's nothing i can do about to speed this up i could make more of these flowers but nah not gonna do that uh another land dolphin and fred is dead all right so that's uh that's it um it's this is the beginning part of the Batania setup. Uh, eventually, this will be fully automated and have all sorts of, of goodness in it. Oh, and I can see that I have mo this moved over too far, which is okay. I can move that later. <laughs> I, I just turned off the, the video and this converted. Uh, so I went ahead and dropped down the, the stone. I said, oh, well, while I'm doing this, now I've got this here because I need to to convert uh nope that's not working i need three no oh it's diagonal there we go that's what i need to do because i need three of these living wood twigs and then one of you and one of you and that will give me my wand of the forest and i'll put that back up there so while that's doing it and uh, my mana pool is converting Oh, I need some, some more wood. Uh, I definitely need some more wood. All right, let's grab these because I'm going to make a uh, quick break. <laughs> I need to get some more wood. Uh, wood. There's no, <laughs> come back here. Uh, I definitely need more wood because I need to make a spreader. Okay. Uh, so. I've got eight of these brown flowers, four of the red, and four of the light gray. And then if I go two of them, there's no water in there. That doesn't help. Let's put water in here first. All right, so two of you, one of you, one of you, and a seed. And that makes the... There we go. That uh, makes the endo flame. And if I put that in there and then right click, now I can go ahead and put in another seed. Where's my seeds? Which makes it so much faster. All right, get some water. Right click. Seeds side. So, and here's my last one. There we go. All right, so there's my eight. And let's get rid of this. And I'm going to move you. Okay, so now I can take these endo flames here and I'm going to go dunk, dunk, dunk. there. I do that around that central piece and I'll be doing something with that central piece later. Uh, I still need the pure daisy, but let's move that back a little further away. Uh, you know, let's do some stone. And you know, what do I have on me? I have lots of stone. that can process there uh now uh looking at my list i did that i did that i did that oh i need to make a mana pool and i happen to have enough for that let's take that here and i'm going to put that right here in the center and that's why i've got these lights around here let's take a look yep plenty good uh i do need some 
gold. I need a thing a thingy of gold, and I put my treasures. Where did I put my treasures? In here. That's what I put them. So a thingy of good gold, and let's come back here. I need this last petal, and now I can make the spreader, and it's either gold and then petal, or petal then gold. Oh, I got it right this time. Most of the time, I'm wrong <laughs> every single time, but this time I got it right. Okay, so crouch click and put it there, and there was the floral obedience stick. It, that was one of the quest rewards, and so if you just right click it on this guy, and that bound all of these. Yeah, all of these are now targeting that uh, mana spreader. And they're all within range for that. So that is grand. And I'll pick all these guys up. So uh, at this point, I need some burnable items here. And I probably should get rid of my magnet, which I I, I do like the, the Botania magnets a lot. Uh, let's just grab some. Oh, and I took my magnet off before. I grabbed a bunch of this bamboo because do I really need this bamboo? No, I don't. Uh, let's put the magnet back on because it'll make life easier. Just grab these two and just sit here and pick them all up. Is that all of them? That's all of them. Oh, stacking a bit. That's not a lot. I'm going to grab another set there. All right, these are like cheaper than sticks, so it's it's not great burnable. Holy cow! I've got a lot of pigs on my island. <laughs> They've spawned again. All right, but what I can do here is let's take the magnet off, and then I can sit there and go have a stack, have a stack, have a stack, and I have forty-two. More. So this. That's how fast it's burning through them. Really fast. But that's okay. It'll it'll take care of that. And what I'm looking for is enough to do an iron. So let's grab an iron ingot from here. And I need some sticks. Let's grab that's more sticks than I need. There we go. That's loud. <laughs> that's really loud. Uh, let's see if I've got enough mana in there to... I only wanted one. Oh, it's giving me a green check mark. Ta-da! Mana steel. So now I can... And it burned through all of that already. Uh, so let's put that there. And then surround this like that. And now I have a mana steel mesh. And that's the main reason why I, I pushed for the Batania. Was for that. So let's get rid of... Can I... Move the stuff empty hand. There we go. Put that in place. Now the mana steel mesh will do better stuff for me. And I'll probably go ahead and actually make the, the other four meshes because I can do the mana steel real fast. I don't know if I've got enough for four ingots though. One, two, three, four. We'll find out. One. Nope. <laughs> I had enough for one more and that was it. <laughs> well, I'm going to sit there and make some charcoal turned them into blocks and that's probably the best thing I can burn at this point or yeah you know, I've got a lot of coal that I've not used so I can do the same thing there too I have so many pigs <laughs> I, I was over here and I saw one of the cod and instead of oh see it's got those little blue blops on there I think blue is low level and yellow is like a higher level and but I saw one that had purple Yes, now I've got three of these. Okay, maybe it, maybe it's not because uh, there was a dolphin that that was jumping around the land that also had um, sparkles. So I've seen whitish yellow, uh, bluish, and purple. The so there's white, so that's kind of blue. Look at this one, light, <laughs> and that's the purple top. I think that's what if you look at the different types of colors. So I'm, I'm super excited about that because let's come back over here. Get out of the way, pigs. So I've got a bunch of these in here, blues and yellows and some some blues. So 
flight. I'm uh, super interested in the flight. If I right click this, it needs three levels. Okay, um, I'm going to kill me a whole bunch of pigs, which will get me some levels, but not a huge amount of levels. But I really want flight on me. That I really do. I have good news and bad news. The good news is that the entire area here is now filled in with, with dirt, which is great. And it, the grass has grown and I AFK'd overnight and I got a whole bunch of good resources. But <laughs> the bad news is there was a stupid number of pigs that spawned on this this uh, three by three chunk. Over 600 stupid pigs. And my frames were down to one, if that many. And so I, I tried a bunch of things. I, I tried to kill entity. I didn't want to kill entity pig because that would kill every pig for anybody nearby. And so uh, finally, I I just got to, I figured out what the, the, the problem was. Type Minecraft pig. Yes. Distance dot dot 20. So it would kill them in a radiance. That way I could say 200 and that would kill them here on my base, but not elsewhere. Except when I finally figured out that the, the distance needed the dot dot, I had omitted the type. <laughs> and so I killed myself here. <laughs> and I killed my horses and the sheep and the, the two villagers I had. I killed my two bees. I killed everything that was in the water. <laughs> oh, God. So uh, unfortunately, I got uh, two horses that spawned. I haven't seen any sheep yet. And um, so uh, I've killed a few pigs and I'm back to uh, level seven and I need to get to level 30. <laughs> pigs. So well, uh, here's one thing I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to take some pasture seeds, some, some green dye and make vivid pasture seeds because now I can just go and drop these here on my grass. And what that should do is convert this from the, the the Minecraft default grass into the vivid Botania grass. And that will stop these passive mobs spawning because I don't have obsidian yet. and I can't make a, a dread lamp. And when I do, I guess I could turn this back to. To, to grass, but eh, this is this is fine, even if it's splotchy like this, it, it's OK. I got another idea for getting XP because I really want to get flight. It's progress update time and all the grass up here is now the vivid grass. So the mobs have stopped spawning, which is good because holy cow, is that a lot of mobs? Just crazy. All right, let me show you the other stuff I've done in, in the meantime. Uh, this I went ahead and set up with uh, the trap doors because I had lots and um, that's been working. You take a big one and send it to a small one and then chain a large cogwheel off to that. And now this cogwheel you can see is going faster than this one. And then you, I, I tried doing a third, but it overstressed. So I just moved this over to here. That's these guys all running here. So these are just the 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 regular miller sifters. I mean, and this is the millstone and that's working. Just why are you not going through? Oh, there's an animal fat in the way. Well, that's super annoying because the only thing you can do is break it. <sighs> Stupid pigs. All right. That's I was wondering why that still had so many. There we go. Now it's growing. All right. That, that's what I want. All right. So uh, that's been working great there. Uh, everything that these produce, except for that one, comes down to here. Over here, I went ahead and made the uh, encased fan with some lava, and that way I can smelt stuff, which is good because here's all the, the various resources that I've I've been producing, and I've, I've done a very few of them. Uh, this is the non-metal, you know, sort of things. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, um, I did come over and start a little bit of working with... Um, oh, I should actually turn these off because uh, they're working. So, uh, looking at pedestals as a way of generating dirt and cobble for me. Cobble because I can turn that into stone and I'm going to need that for the walls. Dirt because I needed for the roof and I was sick and tired of uh, right clicking and getting the, the little uh, rock pieces that way. Go away. And uh, Magnet's going to pull it back. Uh, so the, the way I did that 
if we take a look, uh, let's see, I did the manaboo, I did the end of flame. I made the organic compost uh, using this uh, straw, bone meal, dirt, and tree bark. And I got the tree bark by making a cutting board and then just uh, using an axe on uh, the oak on there. And uh, I got uh, the compost and it, it's turned into rich soil here. Then uh, I, I made a squeezer super super cheap well okay 10 iron so it's not that super cheap um the completing the quest gave me a uh a chest a, 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 a tank i kept was thinking bucket and it's not a bucket uh so you put a button or anything that can toggle redstone and you right click a blaze powder and you need four of them for each bucket and then you can see this little channel running through here i put the tank on the other end and then you just get up here and you just jump on it until it goes all the way to the bottom and you can see a little bit of lava in the tank and then just toggle the redstone to get that out once i got that quest done i got dripstone so here's the 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 tank the basic fluid tank mechanism that i got and um, it gave me four drip stones so i set this up uh, i made the jumbo tank from mob grinding utilities because it holds a thousand buckets no thousand twenty four but who's counting and uh, you can see i've got 152 buckets in here because underneath here i've got the fluid hopper and you are given one and i said well since i've got four of these drip stones i'll make three more make four cauldrons so if you these uh fluid hoppers are all pointing into each other into the tank uh, and they actually pull the the lava out of the cauldrons and this is a basic vanilla minecraft thing if you have lava or water over the drip stone it will fill up the cauldron with lava or water in this case lava uh, it just randomly happens over time and so uh, you need cauldron airspace dripstone some solid and then a, a, a source block of lava or water to make that happen anyway that's been working out uh, fantastic i did some afk for that died uh, because I've got, and I can't remember which thing I've got on me. Let's run over here. I've got one of the, um, there's the poison. That's a new one I, I found. It's another purple one. But if I right click this, bone mealer. That's what. I've got bone mealer on, her, on me. I should actually remove that because I don't really need it. Uh, because I've got this ability on me, my food saturation goes down faster than normal. And so I AFK'd here, I AFK'd over in the other place. Yeah, um, the hunger. Uh, after a very short amount of time, I just died. And that was not much fun at all. Okay, so I, I got lava. So now I can sit there and smelt things uh, using the, the encased fan. Uh, let's see, uh, I need to make a bookshelf. And to do that, I need this. I have no leather. I have a plan for leather, but none right now canvas is something i can make out of four straw well you're given 16 of these straws as part of a quest reward earlier so i made three of these canvases made three books made myself an oak bookshelf and then to make the linking tool you hold a stick in one hand and then some gem and i i went with lapis because lapis I've got lots of. Uh, in the other hand, you right click with the, the stick on the bookshelf and you get this linking tool out of it. Well, part of the quest reward is you get another bookcase. Well, then you want to make the upgrade tool and that's another stick and this time gold. And so now I've got both of those, uh, those uh, tools. And then making a pedestal is pretty cheap. It's just stone with, with the tool and you get a bunch of different rewards. You can make a base with the upgrade tool and gold, and then you can make this with a hopper. It gives you this uh, input, and then you just run it again. It gives you the output. Uh, and then there's also the material generator, which is lava and water with the upgrade base. So what I've got is I've got a pedestal here on top of stone, which means it will go ahead and make cobble for me because the regular pick turns stone into cobble. Boom, there's my cobble. And over here, I've got the rich soil, which is that composted stuff. And this will generate 
some just regular dirt for me. Then over here, I put two more pedestals on top of these uh, drawers and using my tool, which is hiding over here, uh, the linking tool, I went ahead and linked these two together. So this one pushes it into here. And then I put the update of, you know, put it into the item below. And so that's been shoving and I've I've got copper upgrades in here. I've got 16,000 dirt and 16,000 cobble. I'm happy. That gives me tons of resources uh, so I can I can mill it down and, and process them. But uh, yeah, I'm going to make lots of stone just because I need the, the stone for walls to make the brick. Anyway, that's really good. I, I plan on doing a really massive setup with this. This is just I wanted these resources. Uh, but I can make a lot of different resources with this, and I, I'm, I'm very interested to see. But that's that's another episode. Uh, so, here's the problem: I need 30 levels to be able to to get flight. However, I have 12. Uh, I had less than that, or I had I had zero because I died, uh, and so I said, since I don't want the the pigs all over the base, I decided to make a mob farm here. And let me grab up these items, which is terrible of me to, uh, there we go. Uh, so this is a very rudimentary mob farm for right now. Come on, hop off, hop off, hop off. He's not hopping off. Uh, so it's, it's nine deep. Oh, guy died back there. Why did he die back there? I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and dump some of this stuff off. Uh, put that in there. Uh, so I've been killing a few of these guys. Unfortunately, they don't spawn unless I'm 24 blocks or further away. And, and again, this hurts my feelings because it's it's even across. <laughs> but that's okay because I'm I'm doing this anyway. Uh, so what this is is doing it's a it's 10 across to nine deep, and eventually I will have some fans in place that will blow all the the, the mobs into the center to get uh, ground up. But I don't, and I don't have the feathers to expand these fans. That's why they're sitting there. So anything that spawns in the back end, I hope it moves into the front and then gets chewed up. So that's what I'm I'm looking at doing. If we look at the this, it's it's a little expensive at this point with iron, um, redstone, and the the diamonds. But this is you know it's like three blocks of iron in there plus whatever you need for the. Eh, yeah, it's it's like four blocks of, of iron worth of stuff. But eventually I'll be able to put in these upgrades and, and so I, I'll be able to use these fans better. And for the first little while, nothing was spawning. And then I, I expanded it and uh, they started spawning a little bit better. It's slow, unfortunately, but that's what I've got. And I think what I need to do is make another spot so I can actually do passive animals. And this is my super impressive passive mob farm. It's just a chunk. <laughs> That's all I did. And it, it does work. They do spawn. Uh, but I'll prettify that later. Uh, here's one thing I did want to show about my mob farm. Because mm. I was saying that one of the things that I was happy to get was the uh, rotten flesh. And when I've got rotten flesh, ooh, more XP. Yay. Die, die, you evil thing. Uh, so when I've got rotten flesh, I can turn that into leather using the, the drying rack here from Hexerai. So let's uh, right click that there. And you can put uh, three sets of three in there at a time, which is handy. So let's make some more leather. All right. And uh, it, it'll just take some time. It uh, doesn't show anything. Uh, in other packs, it showed how long it was taking. I don't care. It, it just works. So uh, at this point, I've got my ability token and I've got 30 levels. So if I select this, select that, I've got flight. I do have flight. <laughs> well, you know, one of the first things I'm going to do, I'm going to turn that into an island. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do because now I can move about. And I've died multiple times. Let's... uh Go grab me another token. Uh, any token, don't care. So I've got these two. Can I select the bone miller? It doesn't look like I can remove this. Because uh, th the thing I was reading in the wiki, uh, you should be able to remove them. 
yeah, evidently it doesn't look like that that does eh, that's okay uh you know that's interesting this is uh saying i could do that really soon i just need five little xp bits eh, I'm, I'm not that uh, super bugged with with speed because I can fly and flying is much faster than any of the the walks so uh yeah here we go here's here's the the base as it is right now let's move out a little bit more uh i'm gonna chop down the trees they're just there for fuel and and figuring out uh, the the materials i've got plenty of stone now oh hey let's uh show the the completed side here i get kind of a pig snout image you know it's not quite but uh so yeah I, this this side is done and i just need to replicate that here with the the others and uh that i i do like oh uh, getting some uh, cactus growing up here too and occasionally these horses are walking into it no you look fine have you walked into it okay i think this one did uh because I, I heard them taking damage all right I have flight. I am super, super happy to have flight. Uh, this means my food's going to go down even faster. So I'm going to have to work on, on fixing that. Um, you know, I'm not sure that's a deep, 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 uh, green. I, I do kind of like that green a little bit better, but that, that is, you know, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to get rid of the, uh, what is this? The arid? Oh, dry grass. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm tempted to get rid of that and just have it all be this deep, vivid green, just to uh, make it look a little bit more vividy. All right. So yeah, uh, I need to complete the walls, and over here there's got to be some sort of ramp to get up, and then uh, building or buildings. I don't know. Oh, backpack, backpack. I've got me a backpack. It's a uh, light blue because it kind of matches my overalls. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get the uh, leather so I could you know, go B and now I've got backpack and I've got some vector plates that I could put in there. I don't know if the mobs spawn on the vector plates, but they definitely do if there's cursed earth underneath or diseased or whatever the, the, the name is in the pack. I can't remember the updated, uh, mob grinding utilities name for it and it doesn't matter because uh, i've got flight second episode i've got flight i don't think i've ever gotten it this fast before and it makes me super happy because this unlocks building possibilities and i already got uh, you know no fall damage which i like too anyway <laughs> this has been grok the duck farmer here playing along in the ftog feed the beast skies server and having a blast and now i've got you know i've got an island here that looks non-islandish, uh, but uh, it definitely is uh, going to be fun to build on. And thanks for watching. Bye. There we go. That's what I wanted. <laughs>